right, welcome back to the Executive Gardener channel. Uh, I'm Jeff, this is Matt, uh, my new gardener here, the, my friend, my neighbor. So here we are, we're back. We planted these seeds in these pots that you see on this table, March 6th. So it is three weeks after we planted them and we'll show you the progress. So we had some good news and some bad news. Like a typical gardener, uh, we'll start with the good news. So the good news, Matt, is that, so, uh, you know, it's interesting. Would you ever have guessed that it took three weeks to get to this point? I wouldn't have. I thought I would have expected to see six or three inches out of the pot, a, a small tree. <laughs> yeah, so by so the time, maybe. and I'll, um, let me show these up close to the camera. So these, this is what it looks like, you see? So not that big. This is three weeks of growth for a pepper plant. So you can figure by the time you get these from Home Depot, Lowe's, they're like three months old because they're about that big, right? Right. So this is where we are. So the good news is that I told you that I had a lot of people after our last video say, have you ever grown super hot peppers before? And the honest answer is no. I like sweet peppers um, or like mildly hot peppers. So I got a lot of people telling me how hard it's going to be to grow the ghost pepper, which we grew, uh, the cayenne purple pepper, Hungarian wax banana pepper. And the interesting thing, Matt, is that I had the most success with the ghost pepper. All the hot peppers I had success with. Where I failed was the sweet peppers. So the ghost peppers, every one of them popped up in uh, the order kitchen seed starter um, interestingly enough none of the hungarian wax popped up at all, all, all none of them two out of actually four out of the six cayenne purple sprouted uh, and all of the shishito sprouted none of the jimmy nardello my favorite sweet pepper sprouted it's gonna happen still just time I don't know. I mean, this is three weeks. They should have been up by now. But the danger when you buy seeds is sometimes you get defective seeds. So maybe that's what occurred. Now, what I did to ensure against, because I was really concerned about it, Matt. I was concerned about people saying I would fail. And I failed multiple times, and that's not a problem with gardening. But what I was concerned is I want to I wanna, uh, hedge my bet here. And so what I did was I took, uh, people are like, well, start, I'll show up, up the camera, start the seeds on a paper, t uh, in a paper bag, damp paper towel, and put them, put them in here and spread them. So I did that, and two weeks later, all of the ghost peppers came up, and most of the Hungarian wax peppers came up. Um... But they didn't in this one, the order seed starter. So I don't know. That's a good little trick. Yeah, I mean, like, seeds can be, uh, uh, pepper plants especially, and seeds can be finicky, depending on who you buy them from. So um, the bottom line is I don't, I don't uh, eat hot peppers, so you're going to have a lot of hot peppers. Um, and i got to restart on my sweet peppers because oh i got gosh. nothing. Nothing popped up. So I'm actually moving the Jimmy Nardellos to the bag technique. Hopefully they'll pop up. i got to figure that out. Otherwise, I'll have to buy it from the store. But I'm in Pennsylvania with you now. We started these March 6th. So we expect to put them out mid-May. So you see why we have to start so soon because it takes a while to get them going. And the other thing I was going to show you, Matt, is that these peppers, when they sprout, they put these two temporary leaves. They're just temporary. Okay. They'll fall off. You're supposed to cut these out. The permanent leaves have not, you see they're starting to sprout here. You can see on this one. Yeah, this, this one. is a permanent leaf. Look on the okay. cayenne pepper. These are supposed to be cut off. So once, um, once, they, once we get about four or five permanent leaves, we'll cut it off. How do we know what's permanent and what's temporary? Well, because the permanent always look like this. So the, the, excuse me, the temporary always look like this. They're the first two leaves first, to so pop yeah. out. Okay, yeah. so that's your, that's your telltale. And then uh, that's every pepper plant does that. Regardless, they're all like that. Okay. And then the permanent leaves will start to take over. 
So the other thing you, we want to do, Matt, at this point in time, they're still too young to put any fertilizer. You'll burn them, you'll kill them. Okay. So we kind of want to wait till they get to be about three, four inches high. Then we'll put kind of a diluted fertilizer to give them a little bit of boost. Okay. Um, and then we'll talk about replanting them. So wow. uh, where we are right now, I think we're having good progress. Again, I got to start again on my sweet peppers. The hot peppers did fabulous. Plenty of hot peppers. They were easiest to grow. Sweet, not so much, but it could have been a bad supplier. Um, that's what happens in gardening. Sometimes you fail. You start again. So I'll, I'll figure that out. Uh, so that's where we are. I mean, I showed you what the, I'll show you again what the uh, plants look like. These are the shishitos. So you'll see they're not, oh, oh, wrong way. They're not very big. Um, and they're under lights about eight hours a day. And they're under a heat mat eight hours a day. So that's where we are. Nothing terribly exciting, but we're making progress. The point here for new gardeners is it does take a while. You got to have patience for peppers. Now, interestingly, Matt, you and I started the tomato seeds at the same time. I will show you, and I don't have it on camera here, but I'll show you what the tomatoes look like. They're three times the size. Wow. We'll have to so bring those out next time. Yeah, comparison. next time. Yeah, they're, and I grew them because I didn't think my shishitos would grow. But they did grow, and they're much bigger. But they grow faster than peppers. They're under the same grow light. So that's where we are. Uh, part of the new gardening series. We'll come back uh, in a few weeks, see what the progress is from now. But uh, any other questions, Matt? No. I'd like to say thanks to you, Jeff, for uh, your guidance. And thanks to so many fans for wishing me good luck on my, uh, my initial journey here. Yeah. You're a star now. So uh, that's it. That's this quick episode from the Executive Gardener, new gardener series for pepper plants. Um, we'll see you next time in probably two or three weeks when these things have a little bit more size. Bye for now.